overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. Know this, Apprentice. If you fail, we Templars will perform our duty. You will die. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you, and remember the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The Apprentice must go through this test alone. First Enchanter, you are ready. Got it. Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. Why <laughs> do you say that now? So have many others before you. Look at me. Look at what can happen. It's always the same, but it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me 
Well, mouse. No, I don't remember anything from before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim, and you don't have much time before you end up the same. There's something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago. But you, you may have a way out. A dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. That is where the test will take place. The creature is anywhere, but it manifests there. Another spirit this way. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. They would have you battle a demon. With magic or weapon, to be the victor makes you a warrior still. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Of course, you are not the first mortal to seek my aid. I am not here to assist you, however. My purpose is to seek perfection, creating the ultimate weapon for the pursuit of valor. Without a doubt, in this realm everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. As you wish, mortal. We battle until I am convinced you are strong enough to defeat your demon. If you do not convince me, I will slay you. Are these rules understood? Our duel begins now. Fight with valor! Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my... Let's see what you're made of! 
Watch in horror as I rip you apart! Now is better than later. It's a massacre, and no one's getting out alive! Enough. Your strength is sufficient to the task. The staff is yours. May you find glory in all your achievements, mortal. Another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. Mm. So, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one, is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. Help you? <laughs> Nothing can help you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. I am a spirit of sloth. Yes, a creature of the Fade. Unlike yourself, mortals are ever the visitors here. Still, you serve your function. Only the mortals like yourself are truly annoying. You are aware. A mortal with power and will. The sort of creature that some spirits hunger for. I might be inclined for such a meal myself. It would be interesting to see the mortal world through your eyes live inside your form. But I am disinclined to begin such a struggle. <laughs> Indeed. Now, what do you want with me? You have a very nice staff. Why would you need me? Go. Use your weapon, since you have earned it. Be valorous. Mm. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean, teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. 
You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? We? I have faced more in this place than you can imagine. Fear is just one more thing. But you are right. Hiding doesn't help. I'm sorry, it's the Fade. It changes you. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear. If you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm hmm? I told you he wasn't going to help us. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Truly? Oh. Oh, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? <laughs> Correct. Let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? Yes, your witty tongue. Eh, fair enough. Eh, one more try, shall we? Often will I spin a tale, never will I charge a fee. I'll amuse you an entire eve. But, alas, you won't remember me. What am I? You are correct. Rather apropos here in the Fade, no? But you've won my challenge and proven yourself an amusing distraction. So, I shall teach you my form. Now, listen carefully. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go, then, and uh, defeat your demon, or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. Got it. So it comes to me at last. 
Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. Oh, I shall. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. Arrangement. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. I hoped that maybe you might be able to, but I never really thought any of you were worthy. That is because you are a true mage, one of the few. The others, they never had a chance. The Templars set them up to fail, like they tried with you. I regret my part in it, but you have shown me that there is hope. You can be so much more than you know. You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. What? What are you... Of course it was! What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? <laughs> you are a smart one. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Say something, please. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? So much for friendship. I'll leave you alone then. And now you get to move to the nice mage's quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. I've been ready for a long time. I'm afraid they don't want me to take the test. You do the harrowing, the right of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. 
We better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Did you hear anything? Is he all right? Is he awake? Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? This is the cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He must be so talented. Someone sounds cool. I just know I'll be safe. Control the fire with your will. The flame is Concentrate, move the shield. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynne, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irv ah, if it isn't our new brother in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is he. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, where was I? Oh, yes, this is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. With the Darkspawn invading, we need all the help we can get, especially from the Circle. Of course not. I wished to congratulate you on a successful end to last night's ordeal. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the Circle of Magi. I'm sorry, what is this phylactery? Blood is taken from all apprentices when they first come to the tower, and is preserved in special vials. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the Circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the right. Now then, take your time to rest. Or study in the library. The day is yours. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. 
Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor.